Welcome back viewers and thank you for joining me today as we learn about enabling logging for Terraform. I wrote a blog post in 2018 that has turned out to be really popular. Part of the reason is, is it's kind of hard to navigate the documentation that shows you how to do this. So I thought I would also make a video for people to be able to find this information. So the first step is to make sure that we have Terraform installed. If you want to kind of follow along. So I'm going to see which version of Terraform I have installed here. So I have version 12.25. Now we need a main.tf to do our testing with. So we're going to create one here real quick. We're going to do something really simple. We're just going to pull in the random provider. I'm not going to do anything fancy here. We're not going to pin the version. Okay, now we can run Terraform init pulls everything down like we expected it to. If we ls here, we just have our main.tf file. If we do an ls minus a, you'll see here that we have our .terraform folder with the provider and things like that that get pulled down. Let's do a clear here. Now to enable logging, we need to set two environment variables. The first one is we're gonna export out tf log and we're gonna set it equal to multiple types of logging levels can be found a lot of them are your typical debug info. We are going to do trace. I find that if I'm turning on logging, especially with HashiCorp products, I want trace enabled. So let's set that and then let's set a log path. So um, you can have it kind of display in the console. I don't find that very helpful. So my standard is to set a log path of terraform.txt, which is typically going to output a terraform.txt file into the folder that you're executing your terraform command. Sometimes I set them up in my profile and just have them on. Depends on the type of work I'm doing. I typically, I don't go look in my terraform.txt if I don't need to or, or packer.txt if you're using packer. Um, but I have it there if I need it because typically you don't know you need to run trace until something's failed and if it's something that takes a while to execute, um, I like just having it there. So I have to leave these on all the time, but you could just make yourself a helper script uh, to enable these and turn these on. So with the set, let's run Terraform init again. And now if we ls, we'll see we have a terraform.txt file. So let's cat that file. And let's see, look at some of the output here. So here you can see that it's looking um, in my local bin where my Terraform's installed uh, for plugins, for provisioners, and things like that. Um, you can see here that it's checking some stuff in the file system. Uh, it's checking some of the state. It's saying, oh, I found this provider um, for Linux uh, for the random. And so here you can see there's lots of debug trace output information. Uh, there's quite a bit here for just such a simple command, uh, but that's the whole point. And it is noisy, um, and sometimes it's hard to find what you need, but uh, it's easier to search this file um, and get the information than it is to like, you know, set a level, then have to go back and run it again and set another level. So typically I just jump to trace for that reason. And that's it. This was a real quick and short video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have some feedback, please leave me a comment. Uh, my blog and Twitter will be linked down below. Um, I also have a buy me a coffee link um, in the description. Talk to you later.